Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jack Safran and I'm on. And what I've got for you today is Daily Race A. This is a really good race, this one. So I'd like you guys to sit back and enjoy it. We're going to be starting this one in P3 here, but playing Super GT. We're going to try and get a good start here. As you see, we're around Watkins Glen in the Nissan Nismos. Uh, they're not the groups. This is the uh, N100 series. And we're going to just try and look for a, a way around this corner. But you're going to see here, we just get, we basically just get sideswiped there. Oh, T1 in these cars around this track just does not seem to work. But that's okay. We're going to be starting this one from last now. So P12. So where can we get up to? What can we chase for in this race? We've got two races here today. We're going to get a lovely move done around the outside here of the second turn. Uh, going into the third turn there. We're going to skip forward a lap later because nothing really happened that lap. Apart from the overtake. We actually catch up to um, PNG2. And uh, we're just trying to actually navigate the course. Now, I've done this a couple of times, as you can see from my mileage at the bottom. But, yeah, this is definitely one of the more fun races, this one, and the one after. But, you see, the guy up ahead gets a penalty for going off track there. So, that's going to be good for us. The guy up ahead of him gets a penalty. They're going to go side by side into the bus stop chicane. And uh, it's a bit of an awkward corner, this one. Breaking at 600 board. Yeah, you're going to see absolutely darts for the move. Someone's off track there on the right. Uh, there goes the Italian as well. Going to make a really close uh, close move to us there on uh, track entry. But luckily, we I don't get spun out. So, yeah, two penalties for the guys up ahead. We're going to just try and look for a way round. Hopefully, we will survive. As you see, these guys are going to set the penalties. We're going to peel right over to the left here, lastminute.com. And just try and hopefully not get taken out right here. And uh, if you guys don't know, Daily Race A, you don't have any penalisation of DR or SR. So this is all a bit of fun, but it's all good racing as well. So you're going to see here, Advanced Theatre goes for the move. Very nice little move, that. Um, around the last corner there. And uh, I really was left defenceless. There's nothing really I could do. But anyway, we're going to start lap number three here. So nearly halfway through this race. And I actually outbreak myself slightly here. But then we got the other guy, uh, the, the um, prompt device going for a move. On us, but not really making it work. Oh, sorry, the uh, the Dutch driver even. I got there in the end, didn't I? And uh, yeah, just trying to just to make sure we navigate round really. Um, looking for a move round, advice theatre, and I'm pretty sure we can do it. We've, we've got a good bit of pace on this one, as you can probably tell from my qualifying time at the beginning. Not the best time, but we've definitely, you know, got a little bit of time on us. But look at this, we nearly get squeezed. Luckily, we are okay, and we make it round the chicane right here. No issues really. We're going to be on the inside here where you want to be for this corner, but actually, are we going to be able to maintain the inside? Well, as soon as we go past that New York banner, we're going to be thro uh, full throttle. And look at that, we actually get a nice move done there. So up into P7. Not too bad from P12 on that one. Now, if we keep going, we should be on to get some uh, good positions gained here. So we're going to make sure we break at the end of that tarmac on the right, at the end of that um, slip road on the right. And uh, at the at the uh, board board at the top left there, the uh, what do you call it, the advertisement board. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you and you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would like that. Oh, sorry, if, if you wouldn't mind subscribing. We're on the way to 2,000 subscribers, and yeah, any and all support is always appreciated. So um, it looks like Pioneer actually makes a mistake and gets a penalty, so we actually close right up. You see the gap we've made on the guys behind it just goes to show how uh, clear air is really your best friend around here. But yeah, so Pioneer is only nine tenths away from us and we're entering the last lap here. So if we're going to get a move done, we're going to have to hope it's soon. But look at that, we've got a 15.7 right there. We're uh, not quite as fast as Henry in P1 at the moment, but still, we, uh, we, we've, we've been getting more consistent as the uh, race has gone on, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, so for this um, long corner, you need to be just coming off the throttle slightly for both of these. I think there's possibly a way to do it without coming off the throttle, but I just don't know. I'm not that brave. I'm not really not really used to road cars in this game, as you probably already know. I'm not really... Uh, I don't really drive road cars. It's more GT3 and GT4 cars in the in these sim games. So. But anyway, Pioneer makes a little bit of a mistake there, but we do catch up the gap. It does come down a little bit. And look at this. All of a sudden, there's a gaggle of cars up ahead. There's three of them. So I think that goes all the way down to P3 ahead of us. In fact, P2 is in the distance there as well. It's just P1 is way off and way off down the down the track. But here we go. So entering the final big breaking, well, final breaking point of the the track really, or uh, one of them. And uh, Pioneer gets it wrong, goes off track. So we're going to quickly try and dart up the inside. There is a little bit of contact there, as you can see. However, 
that penalty that the driver got anyway was still there, so that really wouldn't have made much of a difference. Uh, but we got the move done anyway, so yeah, a nice little move, especially the way that it ended on lap uh, three, I think it was, or lap two, with uh, Advanced Theatre going on that last corner. We got a good return move done. But look at that, not too bad for race one. We got a good recovery up into P, Steve. The cursed position after P12 on that one. So let's see what we can do. This time we're going to be starting in P4. Uh, behind Super GT, Henry and Samet. we got Dutch, Hayes in the mix as well. And probably Device from the last race. Some familiar names. But anyway, traction control on one. And we're going to release it. Get that down to traction control zero as soon as you're ready to shift up. Someone's got a horn. I didn't even realise you could get horns on this game. So that's pretty nice to know. Now, I'm very cautious here. This was immediately after the last race, and I did not really fancy being spun out again. It's close, but luckily we are okay this time. Um, and look at that. It was, as you're going to see here, we're just not in a, not really in the best position here, but Super GT is going to get a move around us. Is this the Super GT? I don't think it is, but you never know. However, we are going to try and give ourselves a good performance here. So we're going to look to try and take home a podium, as uh, we haven't bottled it on lap one, turn one. So that's always a positive. Now you see this chicane right here, very tricky to get right, you kind of you kind of just need to be very gentle on your inputs. Because when you break it at 600 board, you're breaking a lot earlier than you usually would when you're in a GT3 car for example. But it's just it's just really weird, you you, you really got to manage your car, the centre of gravity or the centre of mass even, uh, it does feel a bit off with this car. Have you guys done any daily race hay this week? If you have, let me know and how many times you've raced it, I'd love to know. Myself, this I've done this about five times now, this is the... The, the fourth time I think or fifth time I can't remember now done it a couple of times but you see we're still looking at the back of P1 in Henry and Samet so both still relatively close together all about 1.7 between us all and there's still a long time to go this one first corner here you want to be working just before the 400 board as you see I failed to do we don't really mean to go for a move on Super GT here but I unintentionally do and um, we lose a position because of that so we're going to go down into P5 because Dutch has got the move on us However, we're going to just say sorry and give Super GT a nice hefty tap. Although it looks like Dutch goes into the barrier and uh, meets Mr. Barry off for a nice cup of coffee. But yeah, so Super GT gets a bump there and they are uh, basically, you know, sorry about what I did a minute ago, but uh, yeah, I hope we're friends now. So that's fine. That means we've got the opportunity now to hopefully start breaking away from Dutch Hayes and close up the gap to Super GT up ahead. Now, this one's only seven laps long. There's no strategy. strategy. Only one car, and that's this Nissan Nismo. Of course, this is Watkins Glen short course. I have not really done Watkins Glen on this game, but actually I found this to be a lot of fun. And um, definitely a good way to start learning the track and getting more familiar with it. I've done it in iRacing, but it's not quite the same as when you do it in Gran Turismo 7. However, it's still nice that you, you know, obviously you, you can use different... You can use different references on different games, but you still know the track a little bit better. So hopefully the more I do this, the better I should get. We'd like to try and do the, lot, the normal standard course at some point, but we'll see when that comes up next in the, in the dailies. Or maybe in an open night lobby if you guys want to see that. P1 and 2, they're trading positions. As you see there, the red and white Nissans in the P1 and 2 just literally just trading positions right there in the distance. And now we're still holding off Dutch behind us. Hopefully this Dutch doesn't have a plan, because that wouldn't be so good for us. If you guys know my reference, let me know in the comments below, please. Uh, I'd love to know if you guys know. But here we go. We're in purples right now in sector one. So we're going to go for the fastest lap here. Or we're going to try and go for the fastest lap. Uh, just because it would be nice to show I've got some pace. I want to actually try and get used to driving road cars a bit more often. So I think I'm going to try doing some more daily race A's. So in the comments below, I'd love to know your thoughts if you want to see more daily race A's in the future. Um, it's just it's just nice because I've, um, I've been trying to find a bit of pace again. And I think this is a good opportunity to do it. So we're up by three temps at the moment, so we've actually gained a lot of time on this lap. I'm not sure what P1 and 2 are doing, but because they're battling, I think that should mean good news for me catching up and Super GT up here. And we see, see Dutch is still in the picture here at six temps behind, so still actually within striking distance for like a mega dive bomb or whatever. But 15.5 is our lap, and that's actually the fastest lap of the race so far and of the video. So let's just keep that up. Let's see if we can keep improving. Super GT goes off track. That's going to be a big old penalty. About half a second, is it? Or a second? I know it can be a bit weird. A oh, half a second. There you go. I don't mean to go into the back of him, but uh, the centre of gravity is all a bit weird with this. Or centre mass is a bit weird with this car. 
and uh, you're in, you know it does feel a bit lazy when you're turning and braking and throttling it's all a bit weird now here we're gonna look at the radar for a second as you're gonna see we're gonna just about enter the chicane on top but the guys behind are gonna quickly battle tooth and nail and uh, that's actually gonna mean I can break away slightly although Dutch is still only six attempts behind Horn dogs in the picture there as well in P5 so this is still I mean any one of us top seven can still win this one but it is starting to look a little bit a little bit tougher with uh, the guys up ahead in P1 and 2 are still two seconds away I'm gonna skip forward here to lap 5 where things kind of calm down for a bit however these guys are still side by side they've been side by side pretty much since lap 4 or 3 when, when they started started to uh, have side by side action so really good racing here gotta say big respect to everyone on track here today on, on uh, both videos now just trying to bring down this gap it's 1.6 at the moment but that gap is slightly slightly shrinking as you see we're breaking just before the 400 board there and trying to make the most of this apex you can fully ride these curbs here so make the most of them and there you go Henry gets a penalty there that's going to be half a second quite a painful penalty that definitely not what you need round here as, especially because that time feels like a lot longer but the penalty zone itself you guys might have noticed it it's um, just on the next little straight after this bit um, it's not too bad actually but it's still a bit, it's still a bit painful Oh, and he got, Henry goes into the barrier there as well. That is not ideal. So, um, yeah, this, this gap to Henry isn't going to be so big anymore. And that just leaves Samet up in P1, which we've got a lap to chase down. So it can still be on the table. P1 can still be on the table. But you see, we're going to just just about manage our way around the track. There you go. Henry serves that penalty. We're going to go into P2, but it's going to last. Oh, luckily, there is good, good respects shown from Henry there. Myself. So no issues there. We go really pushing the track limits, but we do keep it within track boundaries. And look at this, Samit now, only seven temps ahead. So this is it, we've got a lap, and we've gone the fastest so far, so that's a good sign. But yeah, we've got a lap to chase now. We've got a lap to try and do better, hopefully try and bring down this gap, and maybe try and take home P1 today. That'd be really good. Uh, but we still gotta be cautious on Henry behind us. As you know, these two drivers have qualified higher than us on this race. So we, we have that to bear in mind as well. And we're going to take a really brave line through here and we're going to like skim the barrier. Literally, it's getting as close as you can physically get to it. Now this chicane for the la last time today. Just trying to be as smooth as possible here. It feels a bit weird at this point. I don't really know if we should go to third gear towards the end or not, but I keep it in fourth anyway, just to maintain that minimum um, miles per hour, maintain the minimum speed. So I actually get that, I get an okay line through there and we're really close now, only five tenths. So if I didn't make my mistakes at the beginning of the race, we actually could have been probably competing a little bit closer for P1. But look at this, I mean, we just need to try and make a move, but we're running out of time. We've only got one corner left. Are we gonna make the dive? Not quite yet, or not quite this time anyway. And unless anything happens to Samit, that's gonna be a P1 finish for Samit, P2 finish for me, and then we get to P3. We'll Super GT get in. P5 or 4, I don't really know yet, we'll find out in just a minute, um, but yeah, there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed that, I really enjoyed racing this one, and obviously, I'd probably suggest it if you guys have a chance to race this one before the end of the week, because there's no DR or SR affected in this race, it's just a good bit of fun, and I've got to say I had a lot of it, I did this a good couple of times, but these were the, definitely the best two races I've done, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that, as we're on the way to 2,000 subscribers, and we have quite a journey to go yet. But still, every day we're getting closer and closer. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, obviously, like, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Comment your favourite moment in the comments down below. And just like to thank our channel um, channel crew chief members. That's going to be Grandpa Goes Gaming and Aslan the Sea Lion. Big respects to both of you guys. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with the celebration. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.